Good evening. It is uh, September 25th, 2022, and it's time to start another new guitar build. Um, I had drawn this drawing, this uh, rough basic sketch of this guitar that I wanted to make uh, called the Devil Plays, or the Angel Plays, the Devil. Um, and I think I'm going to get around to actually putting this one together. Um, it's going to be kind of cool. Uh, it's going to be three layers of wood. It's going to have a Floyd Rose a single pickup. Probably a EMG active pickup. Maybe a 60. Probably so. Yeah, EMG 60 I do believe. Uh, going to have a reverse uh, banana uh, explorer type headstock. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, chrome hardware. Uh, the color is probably gonna be like a statue, like a pastel white color, kind of a. It's gonna be really cool. And on the fretboard itself, it's gonna have the hands of the angel playing the fretboard on the upper frets. Um, this guitar was made by ESP quite a long time ago. I did order one out of uh, China, but there had been a problem with the company. Something happened with the company, so the company uh, wasn't able to make it for me. So I decided I'm going to make it for myself. So uh, this is a rough sketch. And I've got some wood <laughs> that I'm going to use for the bottom layer of wood. It's going to be probably like three quarter inch and then two half inch pieces. Um, it's going to be really cool. Actually, I used the wood from an old bed frame, <laughs> so I glued them together quite a long time ago. And it's uh, 14 inches height, and I think it's like 31 inches. This is like 31 inches across. It looks bigger than it is. It really is not that big when you look at it. Uh, the neck will probably come out to about here or so, and it's going to be real cool double locking. And I'm using the really sturdy wood. Uh, that way, the Floyd Rose has no problem. It's going to be a recessed Floyd Rose. So, uh, and then the bottom two layers are going to be the wings. And then all three layers are going to be uh, the center section with the angel head and the hand. So those are the only that are going to be three. And then the two layers are going to be the wings and, of course, the body. So it's going to have like a step down effect. So the wings are actually going to be like this, uh, about half inch, about a quarter inch or so reset lower than the main body and the head and the arm. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, so I just wanted to show you the rough sketch. I'm actually going to refine the sketch and make everything exact as far as the drawing is concerned. Uh, get my resource material. So I just want to show you how the drawing looks now, so I'll work on this a little bit. Alright, I hope everybody's having a good night, and we will see you when I start working the drawing a little bit better. Alright, see you a little bit. Alright, we're finding the concept drawing, and I think it's coming along, and it's getting a whole lot better. Yeah. Been drawing on it for about an hour now, just trying to get all the lines and get everything fixed the way it's going to be. And as far as the hair bits, I'm going to dremel you know the the lines and then try to 3d shade everything else and same thing with the feathers and everything like that and on the hand i might actually put a slim i think I, i've got one eighth one eighth inch wood that i could use and i can put like a one eighth inch uh wood on top here so it's rised above the actual surface of the body the wood of the body and then blend it in with the arm and give it the 3D look. <laughs> it's going to be so cool, yeah. Been wanting to do this one for a while. And it's just, you know, just been putting off the actual refining of the drawing. And I'm just finally getting to it. And I think the hair is actually turning out pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, I've been drawing since I could hold a pencil. So, I mean, I've just got to refine exact shapes. And I want the angel to be female. Um... So I'm trying to give it female attributes, like, you know, like a baby angel in a way. Or, you know what I mean? Like a young angel uh, plays, so. And this is my own interpretation of this guitar, so. And I'm gonna, you know, make it the way <laughs> I want to. So, yeah. And it's gonna look really cool with the Floyd Rose. 
but I'll keep working this and uh, I'll keep you updated with it but yeah this one's gonna be really cool especially if I nail the paint and the shading and everything like that I'm gonna spend as much time as it takes I'm just gonna take the time and I think on the back I might put a comfort cut on the wood underneath but we'll see we'll get to that part I've got to order the neck like I said I'm gonna order a reverse uh, banana uh, you know explorer type you know with the, the 24 frets and then have the Floyd Rose and the double locking system and I'm gonna go like I said earlier I'm gonna go with silver hardware I guess gold hardware would be okay but I always thought gold hardware looks kind of cheesy in my opinion because it's not really gold it's kind of like gold plated and sometimes the bridge doesn't mix the pickup ring or the knob and it just have all these different tints of gold really just kind of looks silly to me I could do maybe bronze maybe I could find a copper color but then I'd have to have all the hardware the same color so I work it out figure it out but yeah just wanted to show you the drawing Drawings come along pretty cool. Like I said, I've been working for a while, so. All right, hope you're having a good night, and we will probably talk to you tomorrow about this one. But all right, we'll see you later. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing again on this fine, fine Monday morning? It is 10 o'clock. It's still the 26th of September, 2022. Time to continue work on the Angel Plays guitar. Um, I'm gonna order all the materials, all the, the neck, the, all the you know the, the Floyd Rose, the parts. But until then, I can actually work on the, the wood and cut the wood out, and then start carving these little bits. And I can get all that done before any parts come. But it's still gonna be in three layers, and I'm gonna temporarily probably attach the neck like in certain spots where nothing's gonna be. And then we can get that going. So first thing he's gonna do is to cut out my template. I've decided this is the template I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna cut this out and then we're gonna get our wood together and we'll see when I get it cut out. See you next time. Alright, got my template cut out. <laughs> Looks pretty awesome. Oh wow, that's just so cool. Wow, that is just amazing. Alright, so let me clean up my mess here. That's a doggies. And then uh get the wood prepared outside and get all set up outside and then we'll uh we'll start that step of cutting out the pieces of wood we're going to do the three layers but i'll explain that when we get out there all right see you all right we're outside and i got my three pieces of wood like i said the bottom layer i'll show you that the bottom layer is actually a bed frame that i glued together and i sanded the other side so that'll be cool so what my plan is going to be and seeing as how these top two scrap pieces aren't long enough, I uh, created a couple extra bits that I'm going to glue in place. But I'm going to temporarily screw in place. And then I'm going to lay the pattern or the, uh, the template on the body as such. And then I'm going to screw in at certain points to keep everything in line. And then we're gonna get the saw out and we're gonna cut this out. And it's gonna be very cool. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got all my wood bits temporarily fastened together with recycled screws. <laughs> so, all right, now it's time to position my uh, template where I need it and where I want it as far as where it lines up with everything good. And then we'll trace it out and we'll get the scroll saw out and then we'll slowly and carefully cut out the pattern. All right, fingers crossed. This is the easy part though. All right, let me draw it out there. All right, got the pattern traced out on the wood. It's looking good. All right, got my scroll saw cued out <laughs> and hopefully the blade is strong enough to cut through these three layers, but uh, we'll do our best and we'll cut this shape out. <laughs> it looks pretty cool as a silhouette though. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, whew, I <laughs> got it, got the shape cut out. Oh, that took a long time. Oh, that was uh, very difficult to do, but I got it done. That is amazing. That is very cool. <laughs> All right. Wow, and it's a lot lighter too. Definitely a lot lighter too. All right, so the next step is to, uh, I have to, you know, unscrew all three pieces. And then I'm thinking I'm like this top piece, especially for the wings, the wing bits. Because remember, I'm going to cut 
there's going to be a, just two layers for the wing bits and three layers for the center piece and so I'm going to have to drop it down so um, I'm going to figure out exactly you know I'm going to take it apart and figure out which wood and then I'm going to get the form back out and then cut the circle and then I'll be right back I'll show you what I mean Alright, uh, I still haven't taken the three pieces together but I drew out the uh, wing shape so what I'll do is the top two layers I'll actually cut this out on the scroll saw here. It's a gold reliable scroll saw. Uh, and then I'll use the top bits instead of the middle. Because that the middle piece is a little bit more rough. That's why I chose this one on top. And then those will go. And there'll be two layers of just the wings. And then three layers of the, you know, the rest of the body. So, Alright, let me do that and we'll be right back. All right. Actually, the middle layer I've, I've learned, you know, found out that it really doesn't look that much better than the top layer. So that's actually perfect. So the top layer, I'm just gonna trim off these bits that I drew, and that that'll work perfectly because that's awesome. Because yeah, like I said, this isn't that much better than that. So I'm just gonna keep that, and that way it'll be all one piece. So all right, let me cut that out. And be all right, cut out the the two bits. And it looks cool. See that? See how that uh, gives it like a definite, you know, downstep 3D effect. So that's going to be cool when I carve out the wing sections. This is going to stay solid. And then I'm going to add an eighth of an inch. Like I mentioned before, an eighth of an inch of just the arm. I'm going to get an eighth of an inch wood. And then I'm going to uh, glue that to the top surface. And then I'm going to take some body filler and then join that and it's going to make it look 3D. So it's going to be really cool. But yeah, that's going to be like that. Alright, it looks pretty sweet. So I guess the next step is going to be to uh, to glue those two bits together. But to trace out, trace out the body, like all the lines, you know, like uh, basically in pencil, trace all these lines on the wood itself that way I know where to start carving so that's cool and when I get the neck then I'll cut out the neck pocket and then I'll figure out where the Floyd rose and the pedometer is gonna go and then the back I'm gonna cut it out but yeah let me show you that back piece of wood that I was talking about it's actually I glued a bunch of separate pieces together and this is gonna be super strong so this is yeah and this is gonna hold the neck and I like that it's on an angle like that because it's going to be super strong. So this body is really not that heavy now, you know, the way it was when it was full, the full wood. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So, all right, so let me do some stuff like that. I just wanted to show you how it looks now. Pretty killer. All right, we'll see in a while. All right, got my eighth of an inch wood out. Let me show you the thickness of this. Yeah, see how it's very thin. It's basically a layer. And I've got drew some pencil on the back. That's how I do it instead of transfer paper. And I'm going to draw the little arm out of there and then cut it out. And then that'll go on the top there. So, all right, we'll see when I get that done. All right, got my little arm traced out. All right, let me get the scroll saw and cut that piece out. I'll be right back. All right, got my little angel arm cut out. <laughs> so, this is going to go right here. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll put a little Bondo wood filler in the seam just to make it, you know, seamless. So, yeah, a little extra touch there. <laughs> so, all right, so let me, uh, let me draw everything out and then, uh, I gotta glue these two pieces, uh, the pieces together. And then, whew, I'm tired. Got a lot, yeah, that, that, took, that wore me out cutting that, cutting that body out. But, all right, so, uh, pretty cool too bad I couldn't make this like move you know when you're playing the guitar having it move <laughs> that would be cool like have it like on some sort of spinning thing to where it's like he's like Wah! playing some heavy metal watch this angel is playing some heavy metal be like ah, ah. <laughs> that would be so cool you gotta figure out a way of doing that so it'd be like strumming the strings. <laughs> no, just kidding. Alright, so we'll see you a little bit. Alright, got all the pieces temporarily put together. I just wanted to show you before I start drawing. 
And now I'm going to get the pencil and I'm going to draw all the lines for all the things that are going to be contoured and beveled as a reference point. <laughs> Pretty cool. I just wanted to show you the 3D sections. Well, the jump up with the body and then on the arm so that's pretty cool yeah just slight but yeah all right so let me uh get the pencil out and then draw all the different marks on everything all right we'll see in a little while uh, all right well more final update for today i am extremely tired got a lot done though i penciled and exactoed most of the parts and now i'm gonna put some uh you know the wood filler the the mix of the wood filler and then exacto blade and then try to carve it and make it as 3d as possible so and then when the parts come then i'll cut out for the neck i'll cut out for the bridge i'll cut out for the pickup and the pedometer so and then the input tack is probably going to be about this area right here so who got a lot done today but yeah this is how it's it's looking for right now. I can't wait to get some paint on here and uh, have this guitar come to life. Yeah, it looks really killer. That is really cool. <laughs> Pretty much uh, same thing with my pattern. So, okay. I hope everybody's having a great day as always. And let me clean up my mess and then uh, get cleaned up. Maybe get something to eat. Uh, I just wanted to show you the progress on the Angel Plays guitars coming along. Whew, got a lot done. Oh man, I tell you what, I'm tired. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Good morning, everybody. I do believe it's Tuesday, the 27th of September 2022. Time to continue work on the Angel Plays electric guitar build. All right. So what I'm going to try to do today, since I'm not going to have any parts for at least several days, I'm going to try to do my best to take my X-Acto blade and the Dremel tool and make all these bits 3D as possible. So, and then I'll get some wood filler and then seal all the parts in and then sand the sides and just in general just work this all. And then once I get to a certain extent, a certain period, then I'll probably take some uh, primer coats and then seal everything in. I'm going to fill in this crack and then cut everything. But just try to make all these bits. Just take my time. I mean, there's no rush on this. And try to make something really cool. All right, before I get my parts and everything. So, all right, well, now we'll see you when I get a little progress made. Just wanted to show you how basic it looks right now. But, all right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, I went and separated all the three pieces. Actually, I'm going to glue the top piece to the middle piece. That way I can get it all dialed in. And that way when I'm wood working the wood, it's all consistent. So let me go ahead and get my CA glue and then I'll glue these two pieces together. I'll be right back. All right, just quick progress report. Just wanted to show you up close. I got the Dremel tool out and I Dremel the lines. And I recarved some of them with the X-Acto blade. And I'm going to mix up a uh, batch of plastic wood filler. And I've got some really fine brushes and I'm just gonna perfect it and layer put some layers on there and make it look 3d and make it look beautiful and perfect but yeah it's a long process but I just uh, hope the result the end result turns out as as grand as I'd hope it will all right we'll see in a little bit uh -huh, all right another quick update I uh, did some carving some wood filler and it's looking really cool the center section and the hand when that kind of cures and then the side bits of course I'm gonna sand and then apply uh, a little bit of primer just to kind of fix everything in place but I'm gonna continually work it I got plenty of time before the parts get in so just want to continually work the uh, the 3d effect and the I think overall it's it's really it's really turning out really cool um, this is really cool that I'm able to do this prior to the parts coming and I hope everything can harden really good when I go to cut out for the bridge and for the pickup and all that other stuff so but if I you know get some of that primer on there and then it'll harden really good it should be fine so just wanted to give you a little bit of a I'll let this dry a little bit and then maybe add another layer to the uh, center section the actual guitar part and then maybe we'll sand the sides a little bit 
and then see if we can get a little primer on it today just to seal in the work of the day and then tomorrow I'll sand on it some more and just perfect it perfect it but overall I think it's coming together really good yeah that's pretty cool all right all right got another update uh, it's finished uh finished for the day as far as sanding I'm um, got a lot more work to do and a lot more filling to do this is just the first round but to seal in today's uh, results, I'm going to take some filler primer and I'm just going to spray a few light coats just to kind of seal in everything that I did today and then we'll work on it again tomorrow because there's still a lot more work to be done. This is just the first day. I'm going to take my time and make this absolutely perfect, but this is the progress so far today before I spray the primer on there. I'm going to spray some primer. Got some white primer too. But yeah, it's looking pretty good for just in there. And I can't wait to get the neck and get all that situated. But it's looking pretty good so far. It's looking pretty awesome. I just wanted to show you prior to putting some primer on there. Because once the primer goes on, it's all going to be pretty much uniform color, hopefully. So, all right. And we'll see when I put the primer on there. Hopefully nothing goes extremely wrong, but it's just primer, so we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, this concludes progress on the uh, Angel Plays guitar for today. I've got some, uh, some layers of primer on there, and then I'll sand that and then keep working it. And then I got some really thick uh, wood filler on the back. So, between the two, just wanted to show you, yeah. The uh, filler primer filled in quite a bit, but yeah, there's still going to be... This is just the beginning, so, like I keep saying, so. Alright, hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, stay dry, stay safe. We got hurricane in the, in the Gulf coming up, so. Alright. We'll see everybody soon. Yeah, cool. And this color is going to be, this uh, guitar is going to be like a pearl. I'm going to try to make it like a statue like you would see at a graveyard or something. So it's going to be really cool. And maybe with some light hint of light pink or blue in the, the feathers. But we'll see. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, I came inside and I touched up just a few more spots. Just had to for today. A few cracks that were... You know, and I'll sand this tomorrow, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. The back is starting to dry, and I'll sand that nice, perfect. And then there's all this before I even install the neck and the bridge and all that good stuff, but yeah, looks pretty cool. I love that 3D effect of the hand, that's just that's just top notch, but anyway. All right, so just wanted to show you, yeah, I filled these wood filler, same as the back stuff, so yeah, it looks pretty cool. Alright, we'll continue work on this guitar tomorrow. And then the uh, Ninja Warrior number 3, I fixed the spot in the front. And I sprayed it. That's why it's a little bit darker. So that'll be good to go. I'm not going to do anything else to that finish. It's just the way it is. And it looks pretty good. But it's just the way it is. I'm not going to put any clear coat over it or anything like that. So, Alright, hope everybody's having a great day. And the Angel Plays guitar is taking shape, so... All right, we'll see you soon. Good morning. How's everybody doing on this fine October 18th, 2022 day? It is time to work on the Angel Plays uh, guitar build. I actually forgot to film earlier. Uh, had everything out and just got to it. And I just forgot to bring the camera out here. Uh, I should be receiving all the parts today, so that's pretty exciting. The bridge is what I'm waiting for. And uh, got the neck, so... I was working on the back plate for the comfort cut. The comfort cut right there, it just cut so it kind of fits in your belly there. And then a little bit of a comfort cut um, to access the higher frets. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what I've been doing. Plus I've been sanding the center piece so that it locks in um, to narrow it a slightly and to actually uh, align it so it had a little bit of a a hill and it was a little bit of a rocking kind of thing but now uh, it's dead on straight and perfect and like I said I'm working on that belly cut so uh, yeah uh, we're gonna be cutting the neck out today uh, 
installing the neck and then figuring out where the bridge is going to go and just try to work on it as much as possible. It's a little chilly today. Um, I was going to paint the neck on the Ninja Warrior number no. 4 guitar. Uh, just the base coat of black because I sanded it the other day. But for now, we're going to be working on the Angel Plays. And you recall, it's going to be a very cool guitar. And I decided I'm going to paint it a uh, pearl mist color. It's going to be a metallic, so it's going to be somewhat glittery. And it's going to be pearl mist. It's going to, I want the whole point, I want to try to make it look like a statue like you find in a uh, funeral or, you know, I mean, a cemetery or something. So it's pretty cool and themed, perfect theme for October. So, yeah, so let me work on this. I got the circular orbital sander out. And like I said, I cut the belly cut. And I'm going to refine this and make this more perfect. You see, it's a little bit rough right there. But yeah, that's really good. So when it sits in your lap, you play it, and it's just awesome. So let me uh, figure out where I'm going to cut for the access for the upper frets for the 24 fret neck that I received. And we will see you in a little bit. Uh, successful cutaway, successful belly cut. So that's cool. And I'll refine it, of course. But yeah, that looks pretty killer. And that gives total access to the upper frets. All right, so let me uh, temporarily, well, let me clean up my mess a little bit, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, it's time to mock up where everything's going to go, figure out where I'm going to set the bridge. This is just a mock up bridge. Uh, I've got the other one coming in the mail today. This is the actual pickup I'm going to use, an Active EMG 61, or 60 rather. Duh. So I'm going to figure out exactly where the neck is going to go. So let me draw up where everything's at. And I want to put the neck, and you know, I want to put the, uh, the Floyd Rose like right in the center there. Somewhere like that. And then the volume knob as such. And then the pickup is actually going to cut just a little bit into the hand, but that's on purpose. So let me figure all this out and we'll be right back. Alright, trying to figure out the crucial neck uh, placement because it has to go in the exact spot because the pickup has to, you know, it's going to have the pickup ring and it's going to cut just a little bit into the hand of the angel and I got to have enough room to cut out for the, uh, you know, the locking keys on the Floyd Rose. So I think this looks like it's good. My intonation line is right there in the center and it's hard to see with all the different lines but this is my intonation line right there so i think that's going to be good let's see I think this has to go back a little bit yeah all right figure it out all right and then if i get that dialed in then we'll get the scroll saw out and then we'll cut out the neck pocket all right we'll see in a little bit all right i got the neck figured out and where the neck pocket is going to sit it's going to be this far back so i adjusted for the back cover plate and I drew the line for the new position so before I can cut out the neck pocket I'm going to attach all both layers together real quick in spots that aren't going to be utilized per se so I guess one here one there Ooh, you can't see what I'm doing one here one there I think two should be good enough for now and then I'll cut out that new tent you know new area for the pocket and then we'll separate them again and then we'll cut out for the neck pocket all right still waiting on the bridge the bridge is kind of crucial as far as depths concerned so that should be coming with ups today the mail already came and it wasn't with the mail so it was it's not the united states post service but it's ups and that could be sometime this afternoon who knows so it's about noon now so let me go ahead and cut this out and we'll i got little pieces temporarily screwed together so let me go ahead and cut the new position for the neck pocket and we will see a little bit all right got it dialed in looks good pretty good all right so let me go ahead and separate them get the scroll saw back up and then cut out for the neck pocket and we'll see in a little bit all right successful cut out of the neck pocket and it looks pretty good and i'm gonna have to create my tendon i have to judge how many spaces i need uh, i got a little bit of a gap there that's what i'm going to fill with my tendon so I'll figure that out exactly, and we'll be right back. All right, looks pretty good though. Looks pretty awesome. That's gonna be that's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna paint the uh, the front of the headstock the same color as the body, and as you can see, there's no truss rod. The truss rod access panel is right back here. 
So I'm gonna have to cut out a little divot to accommodate for the Allen wrench and get in there and then so it'll be cool. So that'll look fine. So all right, that way all we gotta do is we gotta put a bar that way we keep but we'll get to that later. But yeah, all right, and we'll see in a little bit. Let me get my tendon. I got my neck dialed in, I got my neck tendon inserted. So I'm gonna temporarily uh, affix these two pieces. I'm probably gonna add another screw. Yeah, let me add another screw back here out of the way. That way it's completely fixed. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the bridge. So, or install the, uh, the neck. And then get my lines perfect and that might do it for today because uh, I'm getting pretty tired. I've been at it for a while. All right, let's see. What all right, got it temporary. Got to add an extra screw. So we are solid body, looking pretty good. Everything looks pretty awesome. And when this is all glued together, it's going to be like one piece, you know, solid. And then I'll do the body filler, you know, the usual stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and install the neck. I got my neck plate, got my screws, um, got my drill bit to the appropriate depth. And we'll see when I install the neck. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. I got the neck attached and it's looking awesome as always. Uh, you know, there's such satisfaction when you install the neck of the body for the first time because you kind of see in general what it's going to look like and uh, that is just awesome. It just looks so killer. And it fits right in your lap. I mean, it's just, uh, it's perfect. Yeah, that is just, look at that, that's just amazing. And I shaved away a little bit from the, uh, the feather is there to give complete access to the 24 frets. So, I mean, it's just amazing. And with that comfort cut, and with the comfort cut on the belly, yeah. All right, let me uh, flip it around. Let me show you how it looks on the lap, in the lap. Let me right back. All right, see? It sets like right in your lap. Let's see if I can get the camera to cooperate. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, it's pretty perfect. It sits right in there. Gonna have to put the input jack. Like right there, but yeah, it uh, it balances really well, and it looks really killer too. I can't wait to uh, paint it because it's gonna be the pearl, like I said, the uh, metallic pearl uh, mist. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Love making guitars. Tell you what, the more abstract, the more bizarre, the better. So, all right. Uh, we'll see you in a little bit. We'll go to the next step. All right, this will conclude work on the Angel Plays electric guitar build for today. Uh, UPS still hasn't arrived. It's late in the afternoon. There's hockey on tonight. I'm tired. <laughs> and I figured I'd just wrap it up and call it a day. But we still got a lot done. I did a lot of sanding. Uh, a lot of adjusting. But yeah, it looks awesome. Uh, it's definitely going to need some fret end work. <laughs> yeah, and some fret work and everything like that. So it's going to be sweet. And like I mentioned in prior uh, episodes or prior videos on this guitar, I'm going to take uh, in Pearl Mist and I'm going to make fingers so like the angel from the hand is playing. So it's going to be very cool. And with the Floyd Rose and the single EMG um, 60 pickup, it's going to sound great. And put jack's going to go right there. Thinking about strap buttons like one here. And then one on the back of the neck as always. And then I'm going to make a little channel. Just kind of a little uh, half a tube or half a pill like channel. That way we can get the uh, Allen wrench and adjust there and everything like that. And I think it'll look perfect there. So, all right. Hope everybody's having a good night. It turned out really awesome. And it's just, it's very cool. Too bad I couldn't uh, have the patience to wait for this neck when I was doing the uh, the Rick Nielsen, the doctor guitar, because uh, I could have waited. I could have ordered one online and just had to wait a little bit longer. Uh, but anyway, so hope everybody's, like I said, hope everybody's having a good night, and we will see you tomorrow. Continue work. I'm probably going to, today, um, I'm also going to spray the black bass coats on the Ninja Warrior number 4 guitar her neck. So I'm going to do that right now. So, all right. Looks killer. Can't wait for the paint. The paint's going to just make it look just amazing. Uh, wow. All right. And we will see everybody soon.
Good afternoon, everybody. It is October 19th, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Angel Plays guitar. And I'm setting up the neck. As you recall, last uh, yesterday, I had the neck pocket installed. I adjusted the neck a little bit, so perfect. And I got all my measurements, and I've got my bridge from uh, UPS last night pretty late. And I've got it dismantled and labeled, as you can see. It's always good, to, you know, you need to label your your saddles because they, they're different heights and, you know, the, the neck is, you know, neck isn't perfectly flat. It's like kind of concave, so the bridge saddles kind of cor correspond to that. So I've got my intonation line and then I've marked on my bridge where my intonation line, it's right in the center of... You know, I took one saddle and went as far back as I could, and then one saddle as far forward as I could. And then right in the middle, I split the difference, and that's where my intonation line is. So, got it pretty much where the bridge is going to set. And that's pretty awesome, and that looks good. And it's, it's fairly close to the shape of the actual body, which is perfect because the knob give a little extra room for the knob down here. So, alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my posts out. And draw out exactly where the posts need to be. And then we'll probably move everything outside because we're inside to do all this because I could do all this, you know, without the bugs and the squirrels and the crows and the cold and everything like that. So I just wanted to mark everything and take everything apart. So, all right. So let me get the posts out, figure out exactly where I need to drill open for the posts and we'll be right back. All right. Get everything marked out. Got my posts exactly where they need to be. I explained this on a different video, but basically when I mark them, I set them and then I draw a line and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take something and then, you know, make a mark indentation in the wood. That way the bit doesn't travel and then find the correct bit and then drill them out. And I might just do this inside. I'm not sure, but we'll see in a sec. All right, found the correct bit. This one right here. And I'll make sure I mark it for depth. And we're going to, you know, we're going to countersink for the rest of the bridge. So I'm going to just for that, but just for right now. So, and then as you can see, I made it. So the drill bit doesn't wander on me. All right, we're going to drill this out and we'll be right back. Fingers crossed on this. All right, did all my post holes and we are perfect. We are dead set around the intonation line. I did a string test and we are good. And let me do a string test again. As far as position of the neck, we should be good to go. So now I'm going to trace out where the bridge cavity, or you know, underneath the bridge, um, the recess is going to go, and I'll be right back. All right, got my bridge reassembled, got my lines drawn, got the uh, where the block is going to go. All right, so let's disassemble everything, take everything outside, and get the scroll saw out. First, I'm going to drill a couple pilot holes for the block, and then we'll drill that out, and then we'll start working on the insert of the bridge into the body all right let's see a little bit all right how's everybody doing this fine afternoon all right we're gonna cut out got everything moved outside it's a little chilly says it's about 60 degrees clear skies all right so we'll cut out for the bridge um block so i got the scroll saw queued up so let me drill a couple pilot holes and then we'll drill us out and we'll see you in a little bit all right got my pilot holes cut out all the way through the whole body Alright, and now we'll get it on the scroll saw and we'll cut this out very carefully here to see when it's Alright, successful cut out of the bridge block cavity. As you can see. And I'll dial that in to be able to move a little bit further. But yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so now next step is to get my X-Acto blade. Let me show you. Get my X-Acto blade and then score the line that I had created and then get the Dremel out and then go down. We don't have scenes how it's the bridge isn't going to be countersunk in the body this time. It's actually going to ride just a little bit above it, which is perfect, but you still need a little bit of room to go down the cavity. So I'll probably just go down just a little bit. I could have chose to go a little deeper with the neck, but I wanted the strings to stay clear of all this and then have enough room. So it'll be perfect. So, all right. So let me get that done and I'll be right back. All right, successful. All right, we countersunk the bridge. Got plenty of room up and down. It looks pretty good. <laughs> it's awesome. Yep, that's going to be amazing. All right, next step is to 
go around the back and figure out the opening for the spring and the claw and all that other good stuff back there so all right and we'll figure that out and we'll be right back be right back all right figured out my spring and claw space and i think i left enough uh screw uh maybe i'll go a little bit further yeah just to have plenty of room to adjust the spring tension so i'll do that and then we'll get the dremel tool we're getting ready to lose it's getting ready to go sunset so i'm gonna try to get this done before we finish today but yeah the uh cut that to the proper depth and i marked it on the inside and we'll go ahead and knock that out and we'll see in a little bit all right we have finally got the uh <laughs> the spring in the claw cavity uh installed uh dremeled out <laughs> and we've lost daylight out so we're we're going out in the dark, so we're going to call it quits for today. I'm going to clean up my mess. Thank God I didn't bring a ton of tools outside, but uh, yeah, it's our temperature's dropping. But yeah, and then it got a little rough over here, but I'll clean all that up and make it a little perfect. But yeah, looks pretty good. Plenty of room for the claw back and forth, but all right, this will conclude for today. And we will see everybody tomorrow. Hope everybody has a good night. All right, we'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this fine October 20th? Nice, crisp, chilly day here in Central Florida. It's time to continue work on the Angel Plays electric guitar. So you can see I got the scroll saw out. I draw out where I want to carve out the pickup. Um, continue work today. Try to get as much done as possible. So there's where the pickup is going to go. So let me uh, separate these layers. Uh, drill a pilot hole and then we'll get the scroll saw and cut that out then we'll flip it over i decided i'm going to put the pedometer right there so while i got actually while i got all three together let me go ahead and drill a hole through all right we'll see in a little bit all right pilot hole for the pedometer and drill it all the way through all right let me separate the two layers and then we'll cut out for the pickup all right, see a little bit. all right successful pickup cavity cut out looks pretty good and i've installed the uh the chrome pickup like i'm gonna use this is the pickup and the uh, pickup ring that I'm going to use it. Can't see. So that's pretty cool. All right, next step is going to be to flip it over and then start figuring out the wiring. It's going to go there, input jack. It's going to be right there, fairly close to the bridge cavity, but it's not going to interfere with that because it's going to be accessible through the access panel plate. So, all right, we'll see in a little bit. Ah. <laughs> Alright, pretty straightforward wiring for the input jack. Alright there, we're going to go with the square one. It's going to go right there. Send the pedometer right to the, the pickup. And then when I get the back put on, we'll route out for the uh, access panel for the battery. So, alright, we'll do that. Alright, we'll see in a little bit. I got my router. We'll get that going. I'll see you in a while. Alright, cut out for the wiring complete. Pretty straightforward. Boom, boom. The pedometer from the pickup to the input jack. And now I'm trying to figure out, and then I cut the uh, input uh, jack on the back side. Now I'm figuring out where all the uh, cover plates are going to go. I'm going to use this black paint. I'm probably going to cut one, another one black because the white, you know, it's just matching thing. And then I'm going to the 9 volt battery compartment. I figured I'd put like right there, so that's how it's gonna look. It's gonna look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's gonna look pretty sweet that way. All right, so let me get working on that and I'll be right back. Oh, and I'm gonna countersink the, uh, should probably countersink everything. Yeah, cause uh, it's a pretty thick body. So on this part, so I could probably theoretically countersink all three of these things. So probably do that anyway. So, all right, we'll see you later. All right, got the scroll saw queued up. I'm going to cut out for the battery compartment and for the access panel. All right, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, successful cutout and uh, countersink of the Nambo battery compartment. And it's pretty cool. And on the other side, I actually did, like I say, I always say, like a comfort cut. And that way, when I go to wire it, it goes right in the channel. So, and then I countersunk on the top piece. So that way it goes right to the pedometer. And we are good to go. All right. So next thing to do, I'm going to countersink 
we'll countersink the, uh, the spring cover uh, for the bridge. And then uh, I think I'm going to create a, uh, go ahead and create a smaller disc for the access panel plate for the pedometer. So we'll do that and we'll get the scroll saw going and I'll get some material, um, some one ply pickguard material and I'll make that real quick. All right, let's move it. I got some pickguard material and I'm actually using the cap for baking bits and I traced it out and we'll cut it out and we'll see in a bit. All right, successful cut out using the uh, baking bits top. So, all right. so I'll place it there and I'll trace it out. Then I'll get the exacto blade and I'll trace out where I'm going to do. I'm not going to countersink the uh, 9 volt battery compartment because it's so thin that it's not going to really matter. And Well, I still might. No, I don't, no, I don't think I will because I'm not going to do the uh, back cover or uh, the neck plate. So, All right, so let me get that done and we'll be right back. All right, successful countersink of both access panel plates. Pretty awesome. Pretty killer. All right, now I'm going to make a... Uh, I'm going to make the screws and then bevel the screw holes and then install these two real quick and then probably install the, uh, the uh, battery compartment as well. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, got it all installed. Looks good. Awesome. All right, so now it's time to check over everything and we are almost ready for the glue phase, I think. Then after that, we can do a full up string test. So. Let me go look at, let me disassemble everything and then look at all my, my wiring and everything like that. And we'll clean up my mess a little bit and we can maybe glue these two pieces together. We'll get a lot done. Looks awesome. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are ready for the glue phase. We are good to go. All right, so put some glue on here. And I've shown this stuff, no sense in putting the glue on there and then showing you real quick. Uh, I feel, uh, you look at some of the past videos you'll see, but I'm going to glue these together and we'll be right back. All right, successful glue phase. We have one piece. It looks awesome. That is killer. All right, what I think I'm going to do first, I was going to do, you know, to do the string test afterward. Let's go with the ugly phase part one with the Bondo wood filler. Let's do all that. That way I give it plenty of time to harden. So. All right, we'll start doing that. Start filling the gaps in the sides or whatever, whatnot, and making it perfect as possible. First, I'll probably get the Dremel tool out and make sure that all the pieces are lined up. I mean, they're fairly lined up, but there might be an edge or two here and there. All right, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, we are full into the ugly phase part one. Just want to show you how it looks inside <laughs> the light. I did all the sides. Still got a little bit of sides left to do here and there, little crevices, but yeah, I just wanted to show you. I did sand around the top here, but it's getting, I'm tired, it's like 2 o'clock, so I've got, I've been at it for several hours now, <laughs> and we got a lot done. We are definitely a solid body, and we are looking good, but uh, I think this might do it for today. I might, uh, after I clean up and then go take a little break and then might come back to it a little bit later this afternoon. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I can't wait to see what this looks like when get some primer and some paint on there. But, yeah, it's looking pretty awesome. All right. Hope everybody's having a good day, and we will see you soon. Yeah, I don't know how much cut out the battery again is... But, uh, alright, so this will probably conclude. I might do some later this afternoon. And if I do, I'll post, you know, film some more, of course. But, alright, hope everybody's having a good day, and we will see you later. Alright, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? It's fine. Beautiful day here in Central Florida. Clear skies. Feels pretty cool. It's nice and crisp. It is ready to continue to work on the Angel. Plays electric guitar. And today, as you recall, yesterday we started the ugly phase. We're going to sand all these bits and get all the sides and everything perfect as possible. And I actually have decided last night that I'm going to countersink the neck plate. So like everything else that's uh, countersunk on the back of the guitar, I'm going to get the Dremel tool out. And because this is so fat and I think it won't help hurt the stability of the wood between the pieces or anything. So I think that'll look really extra one extra little coolness factor because I already 
countersunk the access panel plates and I won't worry about countersinking the 9 volt battery compartment because the lip of it hangs out just ever so slightly. So yeah, I'll do that, get that going, and but the first thing is going to be to work on the sanding and that's very time consuming. And so I'll get that, as you can see I made it perfect here, but I just finished the head part and part of the, the neck. So I've got the rest of the body to do. And it's going to take a while, so let me get working on that and we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, it's been a while, but the ugly face part one has been completed and it is looking awesome. Yeah, this is just the wood green or the wood uh, Bondo wood filler just to seal in the two layers and everything like that. Just wanted to show you, it looks pretty awesome. A couple spots I had to touch up and I'm waiting to harden just on the tips, but other than that, it looks pretty good and it's just so cool. I love this shape abstract like this the better I just and I love that it's just I actually like the color the, the you know it's not gonna you know it's gonna change of course real soon here but uh wow that is just so cool and I touched up that spot right there so I gotta touch up that all right I just wanted to show you the conclusion of the ugly face part one that is just so awesome. That is just so wicked. That is so killer. Wow. It's turning out really good. I'm taking my time and trying to get it. Trying to put all my woodworking skills to use. So, uh, starting to pay off. And I'll, you know, I'll touch it up more and more. I mean, I'm nowhere near done sculpting. So, that is so awesome. All right. So, the next step's going to be, um, mentioned earlier I want to countersink the uh, neck plate and that'll give it another cool look so I'm gonna I mark that in the line where I'm gonna take out and then I got my exacto blade and I'm gonna dremel down just enough to you know countersink the uh, the back plate but that's not gonna mean much so all right we'll get that done and we'll see you in a little bit all right perfectly countersunk the neck plate <laughs> and it looks good I think that's gonna be a nice classy touch and see it's countersunk like everything else so I think that's awesome all right so I guess we're about ready for a full-on string test uh, so I'm gonna have to get the neck out install the tuners install the uh, the nut on the neck and then reattach the neck to the body and and then install the bridge and the claw and all the rest of it and we can do a full-on string test um, before we do the wood filler phase so yeah that's what I wanted to accomplish before that. Oh, I gotta touch up these little spots first. Though. But yeah, all right, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, got the neck out, and time to install the tuning keys. I'll be right back. All right, tuning keys installed, looking pretty good. All right, time to install the nut. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, successful install of the nut. That could be a little tricky, <laughs> but it went uneventful, so we're good for now. All right, um, I'm gonna put the neck in the body and before I get a string test, I'm gonna have to cut out the channel for the uh, the Allen wrench to fit into the neck. So let me get that squared away, I'll be right back. All right, marked out where the Allen wrench adjustment's gonna go. So basically it's just gonna be a channel to be able to access and adjust and straighten the neck when the neck is installed in the body. Um, you can always take off the neck to adjust it and then put it back on but when the string tension it's just it acts differently so I'd prefer just to be able to do it when everything's you know on the guitar and you know some people do it both ways but I, I prefer this way and that little channel is actually pretty cool so it'll look cool when it's painted you won't even notice it so all right we'll see in a bit all right successful cutout for the truss rod access notch I guess you would call it <laughs> so and it, it works perfectly. You can get the Allen wrench in there and it's awesome and it's not that big. So, all right, so now I'm going to install the bridge on the body. So, I'm going to temporarily, I, gotta, I haven't drilled in the claw yet. So, I'm going to get all that going and we'll be right back. All right, got the bridge more or less in place. And now I'm figuring out the, uh, the screws for the claw. And I marked with pencil. And I've got the appropriate drill bit. And I'm going to drill these out. Hopefully this, you know, I'm going to try to do it slight angle down and enough room to where when the claw goes back, it doesn't bind. So 
All right, this is crucial. I'm gonna pre-mark uh, it with a pointer so the drill bit doesn't wander, and then we'll install that, and I'll be right back. All right, got the bridge with the springs, and we're looking pretty good. Let me show you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's way low, and then when it's centered, and then there's plenty of room up and down, and then I just got minimal string tension on there right now, so. All right, and I got the, let me show you the back. The claw screwed in with the three springs. I usually go with three springs. I used to go with four, but sometimes that's a little too heavy because, you know, I use a little bit heavier gauge strings. But, all right, so let me install the neck and then do a string test and see if I need to shim the neck in any kind of way, and we'll be right back. I did prepare a small shim. Let me show you. Because I thought that maybe for right here, and then I can do body filler to accommodate for that so you would never even know it was there. But I thought that maybe when I first installed the neck, remember it was kind of on the uh, high end a little bit. And I wanted it to go a little bit deeper into the body. So, well, that no, wasn't on high end. It was just the, the bridge would be, the plane would be a little bit above the body and not actually inside the body. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, I could do it either way. But I'm not gonna shim it at first and we're gonna see where we're at. So, cause I think we got plenty of room here. So, and that means that the bridge will be a little bit higher up, but that'll be fine. And it'll give me plenty of room, but I got to countersink a little bit. All right, we'll see you when I get the neck on. I love this part. All right, got the neck attached to the bodies and I did a string test and we're looking pretty good. I can always shift a little bit that way if I need to. And we look good as far as height goes because I can go up. It looks like it's right on the line right here. And it's in the body right now. So that's pretty cool. So let me put both my E strings on. Also on the neck there, I'm going to adjust. I'm going to install a bracket bar for extra tuning stability. So I'll be doing that also. I don't know if I'll do that in just a second. But all right, so let me put the high E and the low E on and see where we're at. And hopefully... Fingers crossed things go well. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, got both these on, and we're looking pretty good. I did elect to go with the, the shim on the back, and I'll shave that and fill it, fill that in. And we're still pretty good. We're not that far off the bridge or off the body of the guitar. So, and I think it's right in there. So I think once it's level, it's going to go good. And I'll just see if the truss rod needs adjusting or not. So, we'll get it. All right, and worst case scenario, I mean, if all fails, we can always shim a little bit or take a little bit off the neck itself and then lower the neck. And that would definitely do, well, you know, there's so many different ways we can accomplish this. All right, so let me get the rest of the strings on there and see where we are. All right, see you in a bit. All right, another quick update. I got all the strings on there and it sounds like that's oh, awesome. And I'll do a full sound test, of course. I just have to, uh, I'm going to need a fourth spring. These are nine gauge strings and uh, gave plenty of room for the, uh, the claw, but I'm at the end of my pulling of the, uh, the strings. And as you can see, the bridge isn't exactly 100% where I want it to be. I want it to be completely leveled right there. And like I said, these are nine gauge strings. So when I go up to 10 gauge strings, I'm going to have to order some springs some actually some good springs maybe i can get some of those really good tension springs but yeah and then i'm gonna install the strap buttons real quick and then i'll show you how it sounds and i want to install the uh the uh tensioner on the headstock so mm -hmm. all right let me uh, get the strap button out and then work on that and we'll be right back i'm thinking actually uh the strap buttons like uh right in the top horn there and then where I showed you before, let me work on that a little bit and see if I can get that going. All right, let's see in a little bit. Uh, I installed the strap buttons. It was a, really easy. And let me get the strap. I got my strap right here. And let's see if I uh, judge correctly. All right, let's see in a little bit. All right, got the strap buttons installed. Not at all where I had planned for them to be. I just wanted to show you how it hangs on the body itself. This out of the way. But yeah, there you go. That is cool. And it fits with the belly cut. It's really good. It feels good. But then I'll do a full uh, sound test later because uh, 
I gotta get it intonated and everything like that, and I'm starting to lose daylight, so still gotta put that uh, on the headstock. I wanna put that bar to keep it tuning stability, but yeah, that's it. Pretty cool. It's where it hangs on you. And you can adjust it this way, but it, it's, it's the most comfortable right there is where it hangs. So completely no neck dive. When I put the button here, and then I moved one here, and then I had a button a little bit lower, I was getting severe neck dive. Which on this guitar it looks kind of cool, but uh, yeah, where it is now, the neck, perfect. And see, that's why I'm glad I do this step prior to any finish work, because those extra holes I could just patch easily, and and it feels really good because your hand is right. For soloing it's a little difficult to get to the 24th fret to be honest but I think if I shave a little bit here because uh, I mean you can get to the 23rd pretty easy and 22nd for sure but to reach that 24th and especially on the B in the G and the D string if you were to want to play up here I mean you can get to it but it's definitely a stretch see we have to your hands like hitting this uh, right here and I could adjust it or I could just leave it because I mean you can still get to the 24th fret but you just have to go over here a little bit which is fine I mean you can still reach yeah this fret needs work it's got some high frets and some uh, some dead frets list. but anyway leveling crowning and polishing will fix all that but there you go, that's where it sets. That is cool. Even bending over and everything like that. You can strike the rock pose. You can kind of like get it. Go for some ripping leads. He's like, ah! That's cool, it turned out really well. I really dig it. I can accentuate the, the belly cut a little bit if I wanted to. Kind of like bring it a little bit further up this way because uh, I positioned the belly cut like right there because I figured the guitar was going to hang there because I initially wanted, you know, thinking the strap button's going to go right here, but seeing how it shifted over here, the belly cut, I mean, it's definitely when you're sitting, the belly cut definitely comes into play that way when you're sitting. But uh, yeah, I mean, you still hit the belly cut and it still feels pretty good, but I could always move it just a hair this way so but prior to finishing but all right that's uh we're gonna let this uh set all night and let me hurry up and do that nut real quick the uh the headstock uh bar and i'll be right back all right i just wanted to show you i pre-cut the slots to choreograph the thickness of the strings and then i pre-drilled the holes so let me install this i'll be right back all right perfect installation see i love the way the slots kind of keep the strings straight through the nuts through the uh through the nut there see how it goes and then it'll break once it gets past that so that's perfect that'll that'll be like awesome for stability so that's perfect yeah awesome and when i get some paint on here and i get my logo it'll look really cool but all right, so let me go put this in the room, clean up my mess, and <laughs> it's getting pretty late. We're starting to lose sunlight again. I've been at this all day, but yeah. And then we'll fine tune everything, and then once I'm satisfied with everything, and uh, you know, figure out exactly if the neck is perfect and everything like that, then it'll be time for the wood grain filler phase. Uh, wood grain filler phase, uh, ugly phase part two. And then we'll <laughs> start the process of making this guitar look beautiful. So, yeah, awesome. All right, and I can adjust the neck a little bit further down. I mean, it's pretty centered. See how the strings are centered? Yeah, it's awesome. So, perfect. And I love that little notch cut out. And then the uh, added piece for stability. Yeah. And then I'll fill, you know, I get to fill in all the holes that I that didn't work. So, and then uh, another another update, 
Uh, initially, I was going to go with the square input jack, but I decided the round one would look actually more killer. So I'm going to go with the round, the real slender round one. And I cut this hole for the uh, active pickup, so it's not going to fit that one. But yeah, the round is going to be so much better. So it's going to look cool. But all right. So we'll see. Uh, either this will be the last update for today or uh, later on. Um, a little tired, I might call it, for today. But yeah, we got a lot done. <laughs> Looks pretty killer. Yeah. And I, you know, I detuned the strings to get the the nut there. Fit in the nut slot for the, uh, the nut extra piece. So, alright. And this will conclude it for the Angel Plays electric guitar build. And of course, you remember, I'm going to, when I paint the fingers, I'm going to paint some fingers on there, four fingers <laughs> on the frets in the same color that the body's going to be. It's going to be cool. And then I'll do a black outline around it. So it's going to be really killer. And I, you know, I'm thinking about either doing a mirror finish for the, the Hitstock logo, the Raglan logo, or black with the same color as the body on the front. So, all right. Hope everybody's having a good night, and we will see you later. That looks so killer. All right, see you later. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Yeah, it's the very next day. It's early. And I came to go check on the uh, Angel Plays guitar, and it's still in tune. <laughs> Overnight, so that's pretty cool. And I'll real quick do a quick sound demonstration real quick. Let me turn the camera around. I'll be right back. But yeah, it's looking... That is just... <laughs> it's just awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'll work on this some more today. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how <clears throat> awesome that looks. <clears throat> now I'm going to re reshape the back. I'm going to extend the comfort cut to that with a line there. So it's going to be cool. But yeah. Alright, let me turn the camera around and do a little bit of strumming for you. There's some bad frets on this fret. You know, brand new fretboard, it always says. You know, we need to have it leveled crowned and polished of course and we've got a couple high frets here and there so all right we'll be right back all right a little bit of cramp quarters in the guitar room too got the angel plays <laughs> looks pretty sweet from that angle that's pretty awesome just wanted to show you how it sounds a little bit <laughs> Fingers are so dry.
give you a quick sound demonstration. It looks cool from that angle. <clears throat> and the second guitar room, so it's a little cramped quarters in here. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. This guitar is going to be pretty epic. I can't wait to get the, the paint and everything on there. So... <laughs> anyway, like I said, it needs a lot of fret work, but I just wanted to show you real quick. It's pretty awesome. All right, I hope everybody's having a good day. We'll continue work on this guitar today and start painting on the others. But yeah, that looks really killer from that angle. That is very cool. Very cool guitar. It's turning out really awesomely. All right, and we'll see you a little bit later today. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is October 22nd, 2022, and it is a sunny, beautiful, 60-something degree, cool, beautiful day here in Central Florida, and it's time to continue work on the Angel Plays electric guitar. And I touched up all the little bits. I got the neck pocket dialed in, and I touched up all the body filler, and I patched all the holes I made for the... Uh, uh, the wrong placements of the <laughs> strap buttons so we are good to go so what the plan is right now you're getting ready to go with the ugly phase part two but before that the wood grain filler I got the old circular orbital sander out and I'm gonna readjust the belly cut real quick yeah and maybe even deepen the belly cut that's there it's just gonna look so sweet and then I was thinking about actually adjusting for, like I said in a prior video, just to have better access to the 24th fret. So I might shave a little bit on an angle away from this. And that'll actually be actually pretty cool on an angle because it'll, it'll fade into it and feather into it. It'll be perfect, beautiful. All right, so let me get the proper equipment ready and get sanded. And I'll see you in a little bit. All right, successfully extended the belly cut. Looks awesome. And it feels really good right where it sits. All right, so now I'm gonna. I adjusted the uh, the uh, orbital sander, and I'm gonna try to take a little bit and shape this a little bit better. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, perfect. That is just amazing. It's awesome, and and it feels really good. And you're able to access that 24 fret so much. It's a lot better now. And I think it actually adds a little bit because it kind of gives it like an impression of it you know more 3d movement so all right so let me clean up the orbital sander and everything like that and we'll be ready for ugly phase part two and i'll probably start on the back as sides in the back as usual and start laying down first layers of wood grain filler and making this perfect to, you know get ready for some primer coats all right we'll see you in a little bit all right it's that time it's time for the ugly phase part two so i'm gonna make this rough looking body turned it into beautiful smooth and perfect so all right so i got my as usual my plastic wood filler i'm gonna mix up a batch and i got my favorite fan brush and we're gonna start applying some coats on the side and on the back and we'll see you when i get a little bit of that done all right so. all right another quick update the ugly phase part two is in full effect oh i love this step so much this is where the biggest amount of transformation and change happens in the guitar body. Um, I lovingly call this step the ugly phase because it gets real ugly before it gets real pretty. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how it looks. Two coats or so. 
probably gonna go with four or five coats total on the back and probably a little few one or two more on the sides uh, get really light coats make sure it's all but you can see how with the uniform color and it's starting to become uniform on the sides and this like I said this step is the actual step that that brings the guitar to that really just uh, awesome point to where it uh, it looks just polished and professional and then, and of course when I get done with this then I'll sand it nice and smooth I'll probably do that tomorrow because I'll let this cure over you know next several you know 10 hours or so fully cure and then I'll sand it perfectly and then we're gonna go with the two-in-one Krylon and the good thing about the Krylon I think I'm gonna get a brush and get it in the front and the feathers and the cracks and when I spray the actual color I think the gray you know because the the base color is not gonna get seep per se into the deep deep crack so you'll still be able to see a little bit of the yellow coming or not the yellow but the gray of the primer coming through a little bit and I think that would give it just complete depth and just be awesome I'm definitely gonna get all the the base coats in the places that it needs you know I have to brush all the you know it's because you know when you spray it you're not gonna get anywhere near any of these cracks so but all right so just wanted to show you where we're at now like I said, I'll let this uh, set for another half an hour or so, and then I'll go with another couple coats, and I'll pick up with you. But yeah, <laughs> it's just so cool. That shape is just so awesome. This is gonna be such a. This is this is my favorite guitar so far. I know I say that after every single build. I mean, it's almost like you hear me saying that constantly. But I just keep enjoying the process. This is such an amazing thing to be able to do. I mean, it's just the creativity of it. It's just from the drawings. Remember the beginning, the drawings a month or so ago to where it's developed and progressed to where it is now. It's just, man, it's just amazing. All right. <laughs> uh, reminiscing on how great it is, and uh, we will see you soon. All right. All right, another quick update. I finished all the layers on the back and the sides. <laughs> it's looking awesome. Ooh, I love this part. All right, so I'll let this cure for a few hours. Got some domestic things to go take care of. And then I'll flip it over and touch up the front bits that need to be touched up. And then either we can sand on it today, probably sand on it tomorrow, let this fully dry, or we'll do this afternoon. It's about one o'clock right now. So, and then uh, we can get a hanger and put some primer base coats on there. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. I still got to go to Walmart. I do have some white primer. Some flat white primer I could always use. And what else do I got? I got two cans of flat white primer. But this stuff takes a little bit longer to dry. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess it'd be best to use that up. But, uh, yeah, either way. And I should be getting the paint today. I ordered some in the mail. It's called Dover White. And I guess it's not that dissimilar from the color it's now. I'm not really sure. <laughs> we'll see. All right, but we'll see in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? It is Sunday, October 23rd, 2022, and time to continue work on the Angel Plays guitar. And as you recall, we did the uh, ugly phase, the wood filler, and we did the front and the back. I just touched up a little bit here and there on the front. So we should be good to go. All right, so let me get sanding on this and transform it into a beautiful, beautiful, uh, smooth appearance. And we'll be back in a little bit. Got all my parts and everything like that. Feels good out here. I'm wearing a jacket. It's a little chilly, but we'll get it done. This is awesome. See you in a little bit. All right, another update. The ugly phase has passed. Ooh, I spent about three hours now sanding. Yeah, but it's so worth it. Just wanted to show you. We are ready to put on a hanger and put on some first coats of primer coats. And I am going to go with the flat white primer. I went to Walmart yesterday and I couldn't find my two-in-one Krylon. They were out of stock, but I wanted to show you how great it turned out. Wow. See, I love this part. It just transforms the body of the guitar and 
to just wow. That is so killer. put it on a hanger and then get ready for some primer white base coat primer and then once I get a couple coats on there I'm gonna actually get I've got I bought a whole bunch of brushes and I'm gonna put the, uh, the primer and I'm gonna brush it in where all the nooks and crannies <laughs> that the spray paint is gonna get nowhere near getting to so all right Looks awesome. Oh man, that is just so cool. All right, let me get on a hanger. And then we'll be blowing it off real good and then checking over and make sure I didn't miss anything. But <laughs> it looks killer. All right, and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are on the hanger and we are ready for some white base primer coats all right let me show you looks pretty cool yep all right go with a few light coats and see where we are all right let's see a little bit all right the first coats of white base coats have i gotta see in that little spot right there but other than that i just wanted to show you yeah it's looking pretty good oh man it turned out really well I am very happy with this. <laughs> Let me switch hands though. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this the other way. Maybe. Okay. I'm getting to the sun here. Yep. Yeah. Get some better angles. How well it turned out. Yeah. Pretty killer. Yeah. Probably not a good hand. Strong hand. Can't get a good, good light, but I'll show you in the room in a little bit when it dries a bit. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, I've had some time to cure, and the base coats of primer have been completed. And yeah, I just wanted to show you again. Wow, look at that! that it's just so amazing. That is so cool. It's still got, it's still curing though, but yeah, turned out really well. Wow. And there's a spot right there, of course. It's still curing. I put a couple more layers on it. But when I sand it, it'll be perfectly smooth. And this is just the primer, so... I still got regular base coats of white to do. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how good it turned out so far. Wow, that's cool. Alright, so we'll let this hang on the hanger for... And then this primer coat to cure for a while. And then I'll sand on it a little bit. And then we'll go with the uh, the white color that it's going to be. But yeah, it turned out really well. All right, I'll probably do another video when I bring it inside. But all right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, one final update on <laughs> the Angel Plays. Wow. It just uh, it blows my mind how well it, it turned out. I mean, just... Uh, I guess just practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the better you get at it. But uh, let me see. Let me move this chair out of the way. I just wanted to show you. And of course, it's just the primer coats. But I just wanted to show you how good it turned out. You can't really see the other side yet. But, uh, let's see if I can get over there. It might be a little too dark. Yeah, looks good. And I'm digging that primer. That primer worked out better than I thought it would. And let me show you. I, I do got the color of what the guitar body is going to be. Sorry. And this is the color right here. Dover white. And as you can see, it's definitely, but it's 
it's got it's a gloss and it's gonna be shimmer and I'm probably gonna do 2k over that we'll see but all right this will conclude work on the Angel Plays guitar for today very successful and then we got the Bart Simpson we got to go with the red color probably do that tomorrow it's had about exactly a week to cure the yellow so hopefully when I tape it off it doesn't everything goes well with that one and then the uh, Ninja Warrior number four guitar is curing that and the neck I did sand the neck so we're good to go so all right and hope everybody's having a good weekend and we will see you tomorrow and we'll continue on something <laughs> all right we'll see you a little bit all right good evening everybody it's still sunday october 23rd 2022 and it's time to continue work on the bart simpson's electric guitar as you recall earlier we finished uh spraying the primer on the angel plays guitar um uh, I want to do the other colors. Initially, I was going to tape off the yellow um, and then spray each color one at a time. But I've concluded that taping it off would be kind of difficult and I don't know if it would really be that conducive. So I've decided I'm going to brush on the other colors. And I'm going to go 2K clear coat over it anyway, so it's going to level out any perfections the brushing technique might incur but i think it would be just better this way because then i could do multiple layers and then hang it as i go and i could finish all the colors tonight actually so all right i don't know if this is wise or not but it's the route that i think is going to be the best but like i said after the 2k clear coat goes on it's gonna you know make everything kind of and the brush look might actually look kind of cool so and it's already textured anyway so i got me some recycling um this is the red color that i'm using for the red it's the troy built red um so i'm gonna go ahead and get me some in my container my paint container and i've got some brand new brushes that i bought so and then we'll start working on that and i'll catch up with you when i get some layers on there all right we'll see you in a bit Good afternoon. How's everybody doing on this fine Monday morning? It is October 24th, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Angel Plays electric guitar build. Um, now it's time to do the fretwork, and I've got all my tools, and we are going to go through all the process of leveling, crowning, and polishing the frets. And first step is going to be to straighten the neck with my straight edge. And then get my Allen key and making adjustments as necessary. And we'll see you when I get done with that. All right, the neck's completely straight. Now I'm going to take my fret end file. And I'm going to address the sharp fret ends. That's how they look right now. See, they're always sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and put a round on both sides. And we'll see you when I get that done. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, all the fret end files feel slick perfect. Yeah, I spent some time to make sure that they were all awesome. So I want to show you what this is. Focus. The difference. Yeah, there we go. On the ends, you round them and then you dress them. So they're pretty cool. Alright, next step is going to be to tape up the complete neck. And I'll see you when I get that done. Alright, got the tape neck all taped up and I took an extra step on this neck scene so this neck's completely raw I want to fret um, risk uh, in, any fret dust because you know when I do the level and crowning and polish the fret dust will come off and I don't want to stain the neck in any kind of way and a side note before I actually taped it up I made sure all the frets were seated properly and if they weren't all you have to do is just tap them into place so and make sure that none were bad I've had a couple frets before that were not seated correctly but anyway so all right so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mark all the frets and then i've got fresh 320 grit sandpaper on my leveling beam and we're going to make all the frets nice and level and then i'm going to get my rocker arm and then check and make sure that everything is perfect all right we'll see you in a little bit all right all the frets are level to each other 
and I'm gonna put a crown on them using my Stumac centered Z file. So I'm gonna put a nice crown on all the frets. Just wanted to show you how much material is taken off. Uh, not too bad. But I got my leveling beam out and they're all completely level. All right, we'll see in a little bit. I'm gonna remark them and then put a crown on them. All right, got a nice perfect crown on all the frets. And I tried to make the fret tops as even as possible. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I've got my sandpapers. Um, I started this time with 600 to 800 to 1,000 to 1,200 to 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 7,000, and all the way up to 10,000 grit sandpapers. So I'm going to round over the frets and polish them up and make them look real nice and pretty. All right, let me complete that step. It'll probably be an hour or two, and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, it is some time later, and all the frets have been leveled, crowned, and polished, and looking beautiful. Oh, yeah, and I spent extra time redoing the uh, the fret end file with the fret ends. Yeah, let's see if it'll focus. And I tried to make as minimal tool marks as possible, but yeah. These fret ends are just amazing. Wow, that feels so good. It's like silk. All right, so next step is going to be to tape off the uh, the neck. And I'm going to put some uh, white primer coat, same thing I used on the body, just on the front headstock. And then we're going to let that cure for a few days. And then we're going to go with the white paint. And then logo. And then 2K clear coat over that. So we had quite a bit to go. But uh, all right, this step is complete. And we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the neck all taped off. Now we'll take it outside and put on some flat white primer coats. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, successful couple layers of primer coats on the headstock, and it looks good and even. It's pretty sweet. All right, we're gonna let this set up and cure for about 10 minutes, and we'll peel off the tape, and then we'll let it set for a day or two, and we'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. It's October 26, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Angel Plays electric guitar. And we're going to put some base coat white paint on this guitar today, hopefully. I sanded the primer yesterday, and it looks pretty awesome. And the primer on the headstock looks pretty good. It's had, like I said, it's had a day or so to, to cure fully. And this is the paint we're going to go to go for it's the paint we ordered for it the dover white so and it's gloss so we'll see how that goes okay so gonna i got the paints for the bart simpson guitar and we put a second coat on that yesterday as well and it looks pretty awesome but uh all right so let me go ahead and retape the net the headstock and then we'll put some uh, dover white on there and see how it looks and we'll see all right good morning got the guitar outside blown off a few times and we are ready for some base white paint coats. All right, and we'll see you in a little bit, fingers crossed. All right, just a quick update. Very successful base coat colors on the Angel Plays electric guitar, the Doyle White, and it's gloss, and it looks amazing. I mean, I, I just hung it on the rack. The headstock turned out really good, too. Let me try to sneak by here one second. I don't want to touch anything. Yeah, maybe you can see the reflection of the light. Yeah, it's gloss. But I'm going to put 2K clear coat over that. But, you know, mainly I was just trying to get a solid base color of white that way. And I just did the spraying part. I didn't do any of the brushing at all yet. So I'm going to let this dry for a day, maybe a little bit longer. Then I'm actually going to come in through with my brushes and get me a little you know container full of paint and then brush the paint in all the the nooks and crannies like in the cracks and all the feathers and on the front and the feathers you know and the grooves of the feathers and the grooves of here there everywhere just to make sure that all the paint gets everywhere it needs to be but yeah but in general i take it off the hanger but it's got so much stuff around it that it's it's going to be tricky to do with one hand and I'm gonna wait a little bit, but yeah, it looks awesome. And I love that color, that kind of like marble, not marbleish, but sandish. You know, I, I was trying to go for like the statue, a new one, of course, not an old crusty one, but 
when you see at a cemetery. But yeah, it turned out really good. Wow, that's going to look so awesome. And as far as headstock logos, I could go with black because black is going to be in the pickup and in the, the back cover plates and everything like that. Or I could go chrome, but the only thing with the chrome, the chrome on the Ninja Warrior number three, I mean, it was okay, but the, the chrome, the, the vinyl itself crinkled a little bit, so it didn't have that true mirror finish like it did on the Ninja Warrior 2 guitar. Because, uh, I don't know if you could see, uh, maybe you can't see. But it did turn out just a little bit more fractured. But I do have this other, like, Funhouse mirror kind of material. It's kind of a thicker vinyl, and I could use that. And then just do the 2K clear coat over that. But I don't know how that's going to react to the 2K clear coat. Or I could just go black. And go black vinyl. And do the 2K over that. But then, you know, you run the risk of the vinyl. But seeing how it's colder out. But I don't know. I'll figure that out. But I just wanted to give you a quick update. On the Angel Plays. If I can get close to it. But yeah, the base color of Doyle White. And I gotta say, I'm impressed with the Krylon. It's... Doing its job again. Dover White. I'm sorry. I said Doyle. Dover White. So we're going to went with that. And it's pretty cool. All right. Hope everybody's having a good day. And middle of the week. Hump day. And we will see everybody soon. Have a good day. All right. Just another quick update. Actually, I took it off the hanger when I had the phone down. And I just wanted to show you. And the sheen isn't really important at this point because I am going to go the 2K clear coat and it's going to make it completely glossed over. But I just wanted to show you how well the paint turned out. Wow. And it looks really killer. No reaction, no crinkling. Gave it plenty of time to cure. I used the same type of uh, primer, same brand. And uh, so it looks pretty good. Just wanted to show you that real quick before I put it up for a day or so before I touch it up with the brushes and all these cracks because there's no way that the spray paint got in there you know what I mean all these crevices so all right so let me hang it back up and we will see you all soon and we'll continue on and we've got other guitars just waiting to be built so all right I'll see you in a little bit Good afternoon, everybody. It is still 26th of October, 2022. And as you recall, we had treated and painted the front of the headstock on the Angel Plays guitar earlier. And I've decided, um, this is a completely raw wood neck. And I've decided through past experience, I've had a few raw wood necks on like the Ninja Warrior 3 and the Ninja Warrior 2. And even the Serpent Sting 1, Serpent Sting 2, I think the second one in the neck was treated. Um, those were raw wood, and as you can see, just from playing your finger, even though your hands are clean, they still accumulate. I think the second one was treated, but the third one definitely not. And you can see, like, even on the back of those necks, how it acquires your hands. And I use lemon oil when I play, so that protects it somewhat. But I decided on this guitar neck, I want to keep the uh, the front of the neck as pristine as possible. And this is completely raw wood. So I'm going to apply several layers of tongue oil just to kind of condition and um, seal the necks. And it might give it a little bit of color, which is fine on this neck. But yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it on the hanger. Um, so I got my hanger here specifically for necks. And then I'm going to let it dry there and then put several coats. And I'm not going to put thick enough coats to where it drips on the front of the headstock. So I'm going to be very careful not to get any on the front because it does have a color to it. So, But um, yeah, I'd rather have it treated, especially on the front because I don't want any finger. I like a little bit of shine to it. And I am going to do the inlay with the fingers, the angel playing on the guitar right up there. So I'm going to do this first. So, all right, let me get the tongue oil ready and get everything going. And then I'll put a layer or two and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. A little bit. All right, quick update. It is looking good. It's got a sheen, a little bit of a sheen. But uh, put several layers of uh, tongue oil on it. And then I got some uh, wax. And then I waxed in the tongue oil. 
and then I got some paste wax, and then I paste waxed, uh, you know, not the fr the headstock, of course, but uh, the frets, and then I got some 1500 grit sandpaper in the back of the neck, and then I hit it with some 2500, really good, and then hit some more wax, and it's just, oh, it's like, it's smooth as silk to play. But that'll be it. Um, I might do the inlays tonight. But uh, yeah, it's feeling, it feels good. I, you know, I can't do one with both hands, but uh, it's amazing. It just feels really smooth and slick. And I did seal in the frets. So I was worried about the frets getting stained, but now I don't think they're going to stain because they've got all that tongue oil in the pores and with the wax and everything like that. So it should stay. And it didn't color it that deeply it did color it slightly you can see the difference between where the uh you know the nut is because i didn't treat there and where the rest of the the neck is so it did stain it just a little bit but actually that adds to it and looks awesome so all right hope everybody's having a good night and we'll see you soon, see you soon. all right it's time to work on the fret hand of the angel <laughs> so this is what i came up with as far as what i want to do so i'm going to get the uh the same paint the body's painted and I'm going to paint this on the neck and then I'm gonna have white or a black outline traced so let me start that and I'll see you in a little bit all right another quick update on the angel plays like guitar the angels fingers on the guitar <laughs> pretty cool so the uh, the angels actually playing the guitar so that turned out really good all right I'm let this cure for a little bit and then we'll do the logo and then 2k clear coat I still got to touch up all the brush on I'll do that tomorrow all the brush on the body and I'll get in all the crevices where the spring does, doesn't get but yeah that turned out really cool all right subtle but effective <laughs> all right and that'll be it for today and we will see you soon very cool Good afternoon, everybody. It is November 3rd, 1st, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Angel Plays electric guitar build. Just a recap of what we had done prior to. We've got the hand, the fingers of the Angel playing, and we've got the headstock painted. And now it's time to create a new logo, headstock logo. And we're going to use the Cricut, the Cricut machine. And let me show you, go to my projects, and I've got my logo right there. All right, and we're gonna customize. And uh, this time around, I bought this Funhouse mirror kind of vinyl from before. It's really reflective. Um, it's a mirror, basically. It's just, just a blue film on top of it. I'm not gonna use that on the headstock logo. And I think I might use the, the registered trademark logo and then custom. Just like ESP has custom on their guitars. Like ESP custom, like right there. I'm gonna do that on this version of the Headstock logo. So let me uh, generate the size I need and I'll catch up with you when I get some progress made. All right. So I think the 2K clear coat will react a little better with this and it'll be a nice clear gloss mirror perfect finish on there so hopefully that's that's the plan anyway it will see a little bit all right successful logo installation <laughs> looks pretty good i got the letters real tiny yeah it looks pretty awesome all right how long is it hopefully it stays that way while well, i can get it taped up and then spray some 2k clear coat over it to seal it in that would be awesome all right let me get it all cleaned up here and we'll see you in a little bit Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this fine Friday morning? And it is Friday, November 4th, 2022. And I just wanted to show you a quick update. I've got two layers or two separate sprangs of 2K clear coat on the headstock. Um, it's just giving you an update on the Angel Plays electric guitar build. And that looks amazing. That is just awesome. And then I put some 2K clear coat over the hand there on the fret. But I just wanted to show you how well it turned out. And I will be assembling this guitar today. So let me set this back where I had it. 
And let me show you the body real quick. The body turned out really well. It's got two layers of 2K clear coat on it as well. And let me show you. Wow. Let me show you. See if I can get the camera the gloss. Yeah, it turned out really good. I am so pleased with that. Let's see if I can get some better light. <laughs> yeah, let me uh let me situate this. Uh, let me get my hand better. I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you the top and the sides and the back real quick. Yeah, that looks amazing. <laughs> and I took the brush and, of course, I got all the crevices where the direct spray wasn't going to reach. All right, let me switch it around. All right. And this is after, like I said, after two layers of 2K clear coat, two separate sprayings. I sprayed it and let it cure for a few days and then I did another layer but wow it's just amazing it was like a little drip right there and you can see it's just a little itty bitty drip but it's hardly noticeable and I can sand that down I'm not gonna do it before I assemble it of course but if it starts to bother me I can sand that and then buff it out and it won't, it'll be like it never existed it wasn't even there so all right just wanted to show you real quick how it looks and like i said i'll be assembling this guitar today so this will be like awesome Let's see if i can get the light the light in here is a little bit not as good but wow yeah, it just looks amazing and it's just this guitar has come so far but all right so this will be the update real quick. And like I said, I'll be working on this today. It's early in the morning. So, and then look forward to receiving those updates. And I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. It is November 4th, 2022. And it is that time. It is time to assemble the Angel Plays electric guitar. All right, just want to show you. I got my tools, got my parts, got the body. And uh, I showed on a previous video how well the two hay cleric coat turned out. I think this room's got some better lighting. But wow, look at that. That looks so good. Yeah, there we go. That's way better lighting. All right, before I get all my fingerprints all over it, because you know that's what's going to happen as soon as I start working on it. But wow, yeah. yeah and you can see a definite improvement in the light quality in this room. But wow, that looks so amazing. Alright, as usual, the first step is going to be to install the bridge. Bridge post, actually, we'll do that first. And then we'll see in a little bit, and we'll get the bridge going with the springs and the claw. But yeah, alright, I'm looking forward to having, to putting some strings and playing this, this amazing guitar. Oh my god, that looks so killer. Let me show you the gloss. Before, like I said, I start putting all my fingerprints all over it. I would love to do another one like this. I love these, these artistically shaped guitars. Very simple. Yeah, and two layers of uh, two rounds of 2K clear coat. It's kind of nice and thick. Let me get the bridge post installed and we'll verify. Now I just want to show one more. I seen this as I walked into the door and just the glistening of the 2K clear coat from this angle. It looks so cool. Alright, let me get the post in. I got my post, I got my hammer, and let me install the bridge post. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. Alright, bridge posts are installed perfectly. Alright, so let me get my bridge, the claw, and the springs, and then gently put them in. I ordered some new springs for this guitar build, so these ones are going to be the ones I'm going to be using. Alright, we get some of that done and we'll see in a little bit. <laughs> looks awesome. Alright, got the bridge temporarily installed. Got, I'm using four springs this time, just so I can have a little bit of extra pull, because I'm going to be using uh, 50 through through 10 gauge strings. So, got it. Looks pretty awesome. Looks pretty awesome on the other side. Okay, next step is I'm going to install the ground wire and feed it through to 
the uh, pickup cavity and we'll be right back. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got my ground wire connected to the claw and I'll go ahead and solder that later when I get the soldering out. But since I already got this flipped over and I got it fed through the uh, pickup cavity and through into the pedometer opening. So I'm gonna go ahead and install my um, my 9 volt battery compartment and pull the wires through and everything like that and we'll see when I get that done. All right, go ahead. I went ahead and installed the battery, 9 volt battery compartment. <laughs> it looks pretty amazing. And I fed the wires through. All right. So next step now is to be to uh, go ahead and turn the guitar over and then get my pickup situated. And as you recall, I'm going with the EMG 60 on this one with the gold. Could go with an 81 and be silver, but I kind of like the 60 because it does have a little bit of a warmer tone. So let me go with the 60 in the bridge and let me get the wires pulled through and everything and tape down to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And we'll see when I get that step done. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, another quick update. Just in case, I got my handy EMG pickup tester, or my active pickup tester, and we are good to go. So we are good and bright. All right, so this pickup's good. All right, so let me install the pickup with one screw, and we will be right back. It's always important to do this step, I've noticed, because you get all everything together and the strings on it, and if the pickup's bad, then it's just a pain. It's a re disassemble. But all right, we'll see. All right, got my wires pulled through. It looks pretty good. There wasn't a whole lot of room for adjustment, so I went ahead and just mounted it with all four screws. But yeah, it looks pretty killer. All right, so now I'm going to get the uh, input jack situated, and we're going to go with a beautiful round one, and we're going to try to get that perfectly in there, and we'll see in a little bit. I got the input jack wired. Now I'm going to get the uh, the screws and countersink and then install it. Fingers crossed this goes well. All right, let's see in a little bit. All right, successfully installed the input jack and all the wires are pulled through. All right, let me get the pedometer ready and we'll start wiring it up. Should be a very simple wiring and we'll see in a little bit. All right, we are successfully wired and I pushed the pedometer all the way through to the front and then I screwed it in so we're good to go there. All right, we're ready for a full-on test. So let me turn the guitar over, install the battery, plug it in, and see what happens. Fingers crossed that we did it right the first time. That would be nice. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are ready for a full test. We've got hot cord there. As tradition, let's turn the volume all the way off. Let me find something to tap on it with. The tweezers right there. All right, maybe I won't need an extra hand to install the input jack nope all right and we tap on it we shouldn't get nothing uh, all right nothing now we turn the volume all the way up and we should get full on all right we are successfully wired let's try it again all the way volume all the way down all right we are good to go <laughs> All right, successful wiring, that's always a plus. All right, so let me uh, install the back cover plates and then we'll put this back on the rack and then we'll start working on the neck as tradition. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, real quick, before I put the back cover plate on, I want to show you I installed the knob and it looks awesome. All right, flip it over and put the back cover plates on. We'll be right back. All right, successful back cover plate installed. And there's, <laughs> it was it was completely smooth, no extra paint to have to chip away or anything like that. It was good to go. All right, so next step is to put this on the rack, and then get the neck out and install the tuning keys, and everything, um, and the nut, and we'll be right back. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, install the tuning keys and the nut. It looks pretty good. And I adjusted the nut. I actually filed down a little bit on the behind of the nut. That way it lowers the nut and have better action on this end of the guitar. So, all right. So, let me get the body back out here. As tradition. Set this over there. And I'll get the body back out. And we'll be right back. All right. It is that time. It is time again to attach the body to the neck. And this one actually how it looks. All right, fingers crossed. I don't foresee anything being uh, tricky or difficult or anything like that. Straightforward, just install the neck. So, 
All right, we'll see in a little bit. Fingers crossed on this one. We'll All right, we have successfully connected the body to the neck. <laughs> Looks awesome. Oh, Angel's got the fingers on the frets. Everything. That is awesome. All right. Oh, yeah, that turned out good. And then I installed the, the whammy bar. Well, let me show you around the back. Looks awesome. It's pretty killer. All right, so the next step is going to be to install both the E-strings and get the uh, the neck perfectly lined up exactly where it needs to be. And then we'll start to uh, work on getting <laughs> it. Oh, man, that is just so amazing. Wow, I'm just, I'm out of breath. And I'm lost for words. That just looks so cool. And I think the hand turned out perfect at this spot. That is just so cool. And I love the color. So, all right. So let me get the two E strings on, and then we'll see in a little bit. Okay. All right, got my two E strings installed, and we're lined up right in the center. All right, looks pretty good. All right, let me get the rest of the strings on there. I'll see you in a sec. All right, got all the strings on there, and it's sounding, and it's it's playing just amazing. It is just so killer. All right, so let me put on the strap buttons and we put on the uh, back cover plates and uh, we'll get it going. All right, it sounds good though. That pickup is really killer. Mm. Yeah. All right, let me do that and we'll be right back. Let's go. All right, got the strap buttons installed and the back cover plates installed, and it is looking awesome. Wow, that is amazing, and I installed the, the net screws. That's cool. That is so awesome. That is amazing. Oh, I love this. I love that guitar, this guitar so much. Wow. All right, so let me let this settle for a little while. Uh, let me get everything dialed in. And I'll, of course, do a full sound demo. And I love the hands. That is so cool. Alright, and we'll see you in a little bit. Very cool. Alright, just wanted to give a quick sound test. Uh, got it all together, got it intonated, got it dialed in. Brand new strings, so they're probably still stretching. But... dry so I'm gonna put a little how we do my lemon oil yeah but overall you know I, you know I'm gonna let it settle overnight and see how it goes I might have to shim a little bit the neck to bring the uh, the Brit or the neck just a little bit this way because we're kind of at the low end we're, we've got some room left but it's it's really close I like to have it a little bit more play. But overall, sounds good. For another, if I do another build like this, I think I'm going to invest in a uh, higher quality bridge. I mean, this is one of those uh, Floyd Rose license bridges, and it's you can tell that the metal is just not. I mean, I was doing a little bit of an adjustment on the, some of the saddles, and it was feeling like it was going to strip a little bit, and it was this close to stripping, and it's just not good. I mean, I'd rather spend the extra to get like a Floyd Rose special or something like that, or Floyd Rose number two. a little bit. It's still going to stretch a little bit, but overall, I mean, it's, you 
can reach the 24th fret, but you gotta go higher than. I think a shredder would really love this guitar. I mean, the neck feels good with that the, the tongue oil that I put on there. It feels really good. But I'll do a full sound demonstration, full video shoot, full up close and personal, but I just wanted to show you the uh, Angel Plays Guitars Assembled. It's here a little bit without the volume. It's very resonant and very acoustic. Anyway, I'll let this settle for the day and for overnight and see how, you know, everything settles and then I'll come back and make any kind of adjustments that I need to make. But overall, very cool guitar. Just wanted to show you again. Angel plays. And I might do the actual uh, Devil Girl guitar. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but ESP made a Devil Girl guitar. And that'd be cool to do a guitar like that, but... All right. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. It's the weekend. But yeah. Turned out pretty killer. And I'm always learning, so definitely have to tweak it after it settles a little bit. But yeah. Really dig the way the finish turned out. I like the I really like the color. It's kind of like an off-white. It's kind of going for, like I said before in videos, kind of like that statue that you would see at a cemetery made out of stone. And I think it pulled that off, but yeah. The logo turned out pretty good, and the 2K clear coat, and that the bar, retaining bar. So, all right. Just want to give you a good look. Where I put it away for a day or two. I'll be starting on the Lisa Simpson guitar and there's a couple other guitars that I have in store that I'm gonna surprise you with. <laughs> the Betty Boop guitar gets started on the wood for that. But yeah, I wanted to concentrate on these ones and kind of get them perfect. But all right, thanks for coming along for the ride. Um, we'll continue with this one tomorrow. And hell, I, you know, I might even upgrade the bridge and get a Floyd Rose Special. They're about $100, so they're not too bad. And I think it would just make it play so much better. I wouldn't have to worry about stripping out any of this cruise for sure. But, alright. Have a good night, and we'll see you later.
just a final update. All right, gonna leave it on the rack for the rest of the night. Have it settle and do what it needs to do. Usually the next settle is a little bit here and there. And that way I'll get it dialed in tomorrow. But yeah, all right. And we will see you then. Very awesome guitar. Mm, I'm really fond of this one. <laughs> Alright, we'll take it easy. We'll see you soon.